Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai Bashim Rakak Wadash. And double honors to the apostles of the great millstone. And giving also the salutations they rough towards the Yakim as forwarding this truth. Shalom to the brothers and the sisters that support we saying what we do out of sincerity and that continue to heed is the brother Laban coming at you with another video and in this video I want to go over a judgment which occurred to a woman of the age of 80 years old as you can see mauled to death by two dogs in San Bernardino County and um, you know once again doing another video and showing you that the Lord isn't playing around with these people out here whether they be old, young, whoever you are. The Lord ain't playing with nobody. Okay. Um, as it is written. Um, that the Lord belong of the issues from death in the book of Psalms 68 and 20. And the term issues means your goings. So the Lord is involved in how you leave this earth. And as it is also written in the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 39. That he is the one that, that wound and he heals. And he is the one that kills and makes alive. Which I'll be getting these precepts once again. And showing that. Because um, you know. We're not the kind of pastors. For one we're the pastors of the Lord. That is sent after his own heart. All right. And we're not like the pastors that you're familiar with. These Christian pastors that like to tell you or like to teach you the Bible in a sense that God is all love. No, we're going to tell you and teach you while we're telling you that the Heavenly Father deals with both sides of the spectrum. The truth. Okay. And the truth of the matter is, is that the Heavenly Father is a, is a power of judgment. Whether good or bad. Okay, so let's read this. 80 year old woman mauled to death by two dogs in San Bernardino County. An 80 year old woman out for a walk mauled to death by two dogs in Baldy Mesa in an unincorporated area of San Bernardino County author authority said sheriff's deputies found soon hand lying on the road shortly after 11 a.m. Friday near the intersections of Vinton Street and Mesa Road. According to a news release from the sheriff's office, Han, who suffered major injuries during the attack, was pronounced dead at the scene. Two doggo Argentino dogs were captured and are being held by the county's animal control agency as the department continues its investigation, as already said. And uh, the doggo Argentino dogs look very somewhat decent dogs, I would say. But, um, you know, regardless of what judgment is pronounced because of the evil that men and women do. And, um, you know, before I go further into this lesson, as well as reading this article, I will say this. You know, many will say, well, that's a terrible thing that happened to a woman at this age. You know, why would this happen to a woman of this age? Like, this is appalling. You know, it's sad and it, and it is sad, but. I'm making these videos to show you and I'm going to merge I'm going to merge all of this thing with the scriptures to make the point that you have to fear the Lord. I'm talking about a power which has created all of this existence, the same power which is mentioned in the Bible. Okay? And so you must fear him as it is written, lean not into thine own understanding and be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord. And depart from evil. And this is why you fear the Lord. It's to simply depart from evil. What is evil? Bad times. And the problem is, is that many people haven't departed from evil. And this is why evil is presented their way. Which the term evil means bad time or an ill time. The word ev is um, time and the word ill means bad. Bad time. So bad times come unto those that don't repent from their evil and wicked ways and what i wanted to say going back to my point again to you people that are watching you may be thinking this woman should have never deserved this kind of death she's an old woman 
She's innocent. Well, as it is written in the scriptures, the Lord is an omnipotent power. What do I mean by omnipotent? Meaning he's all around. And the eyes of the Lord are beholding the good and the evil. And even in your secret places, the Lord is found. So what am I saying? The Lord watches everything that you do within your life. He watches everything. And those angels, those invisible beings that you don't see are the eyes of the Lord. And they report back to the things that you do here on this earth. Okay. Whether it be good things or bad things. And now put that scripture on post-production as well. So there's no escape from the Lord. None of us know who this woman is. But what, what, what I do know and, and brothers that have the spiritual senses is that this woman had to have been a, a very evil, wicked woman to result to a death like this. All right. And when it comes to judgment, there's no respect of persons. So the ultimate point that I'm making in this video, as of all videos like these, is to show you that the Lord ain't playing around. The pastors have taught you wrong of the Heavenly Father. They taught you that God is all love and he's fluff and he wouldn't hurt a fly. That's nonsense. Let's prove it some more, shall we? Let's get the book of Deuteronomy 32 and let's read verse 39. See now, and I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading the King James Bible, the same Bible that the pastors read. See now that I, even I am he and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. And neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. As it is written, let two or three witnesses be established that the case is true. So I've, I've brought two scriptures to solidify the point that the Heavenly Father is a power of judgment, of salvation, and as well as he is also a power of, of but that belong of the issues of death. Psalm 68 and verse 20, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. He is the power of life and death, which makes all the sense in the world because he is our creator. He is the creator of all of this existence. He created both sides, good and bad. Okay, righteousness and evil. He's involved in all of this. Okay. So when it comes to people that are living in an evil manner the Lord gives them what they deserve whether old or young okay as it is written in the book of Job 4 in verse 7 I believe who ever perished being innocent and where were the righteous cut off so no one escapes the judgment of the Lord none of us are innocent we're all sinners but the difference is who's going to repent of their sins so that the Lord can forgive you of your sins. And if you do that. Then you ain't got nothing to worry about. But for those that don't do it. Got a whole lot to worry about. Because at any given time. Death is waiting. To be presented. To those that don't want to repent. Okay so. Um, now what I want to do. I want to move forward. And. Um. Let's read this. This is what I should have read second. Excuse me. This is Ecclesiastes 39 and verse 27. We'll begin here. All these things are for, the, are for good to the godly and so to the sinner and they are turned into evil. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their forces and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire hell and famine and death and all of these are coming real soon and i'm talking about these two famine and excuse me fire and famine and death these three are coming like you've never seen before in the times to come before the messiah makes a second return all these were created for vengeance teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword to the punishing of the wicked to destruction. So this is what happened to this woman. She was mauled to death by the teeth of wild beasts. And that's what that's what a dog is. Any carnivorous animal has those canines and those hook like teeth on the side. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So this woman must have been a wicked woman 
to result to a death like this that she got. Okay. This woman must have been a, a wicked ass woman in her youth and did all kind of nonsense when she was in her in her youth to a middle age. I want to say this too, for the, for the most part, people that are wicked all throughout their youth, all of a sudden, they want to turn from all of that because they're too old to do it, hoping that God will forgive them. And that is no longer the case because they haven't truly, generally repented from their ways. All right, so I want to I want to get that too because everything happens to people in due Same. season. So let's finish this off. And they shall rejoice in his commandments, and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. And therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved and thought, and this is a uh, Sirach thirty nine and thirty upon these things, and have left them in writing. And all the works of the Lord are good. And he will give every needful thing in due season, good or bad. So in a time, at the right time, should I say, in due season, judgment is delivered, good or bad. As it is written, whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. In the book of Colossians tells you that, uh, as a matter of fact, let me read it because I'm going to butcher it. So let me get that out. Colossians 3 and 25. But he that doeth the wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of persons. Whether you old, whether you young, whether you whether you are a teenager, it don't matter. All right. If you do wrong, then you shall receive for the wrong that which you have done. And, and uh, that's just how it goes. So the point of the matter of this lesson is that we have to repent. Otherwise, suffer the plagues of death. All right. So um, now what I want to do is I want to show you something else. And uh, this is it right here. Which this is from the UK, from the Mirror.co UK. A British news outlet. And this reads, Ben men living in fear of new super angry seagulls and forced to wear hard hats. The new super angry seagulls are terrorizing our nation's Ben men and seagulls are said to be growing larger and more vicious causing refuse collectors to wear safety gear like hard hats to protect themselves from the winged menace. And it has been reported one man who used to be in the force, excuse me, who used to be in the force or forces said he is more frightened of seagulls than anything he came across in the military and another claimed he was forced to flee when he was targeted the behavior of the seagulls has terrified many with their dive bomb attacks compared to the scene from alfred hitchcock's 1963 cult classic the birds a horror film in which craze the birds violently kills humans and um Keep in mind that this guy used to be in a military force. And the sight of him seeing many of these birds come down upon him. Terrified him to the point where he had to flee himself. So, you know, as we understand, the Heavenly Father has a way of manipulating nature to show that he is a power. That isn't playing out here. As it is written, the Lord looketh down upon the earth and he see of the sinful kingdom. Okay? The Lord has his eyes upon the sinful kingdom and he shall destroy it from off the face of the earth. And as it is written, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. So nature is expressing God's anger and more judgments are therefore will be presented waiting for the people. So being that we're in these times of the Heavenly Father's anger, we should be repenting like no one's business. Okay? Ezekiel 39 and verse 4. Thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, thou and all thy bands. And this is a prophecy for Gog and Magog. But I'm reading this to make a point. 
and the people that is with thee, I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. Okay, because you have birds such as your ravens and the term raven goes back to the word ravenous because those black ravens are going to be ravenous when the time presents itself. So right now these birds, you look at these birds and you're thinking to yourself, well man, these birds ain't really doing no harm. And they haven't did any harm to me as of late. And I haven't seen any harm that these birds have done to men. But eventually, the Lord is going to turn these birds up to be ravenous birds. A lot of things are going to happen before the coming of the Son of Man. Who am I talking about? I'm um, the Messiah, who we call Yahweh Shai, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. All right? So now I want to read this again. They shall rejoice, verse 31, and they shall rejoice in his commandments, and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. So all of these birds that you think that are harmless, they're going to be more contrary than what you think. They're going to be harmful. And those that have sinned and those that have not repented, before the time comes of the Lord making his second return in the time of Jacob's trouble, as it is written in the book of Daniel 12, that the time is going to come since there was a nation, birds will be attacking people. And I will show you um, articles of that happening. Seagulls attacking people. All right. And that's why they made that film, which is called uh, Birds, which I just um, read in this article. The Alfred Hitchcock film, which is um, a classic called The Birds. And why do Hollywood. And why are these films made as the same goes art imitates life. Because there's probably been times in the past that something like that has happened where you had a, a bulk of birds coming down, nose diving on one person and plucking them. Okay, or something that's going to come in the future. This is why these these films are made. To give you an idea, which is really predictive programming to give you an idea that this scenario could possibly happen. Okay, and it is going to happen. Many things are going to happen out here that's going to be way out of your comprehension. And it's going to be bad before the Lord makes a second return. So. To escape out of those things, you have to take on the covering cast of the Lord and his only begotten son. All right. So that's all I have to say right there. And let me just read this. Let me just um, end it off with this precept over here. Uh, this is Proverbs um, 30. Yeah. Verse 17. And the eye that mock of at his father, which is let me read this again. Proverbs 30 and 17. The eyes that mock of at his father which the father represents the most high and despise him to obey his mother. In other words, the mother represents keeping the commandments. The ravens of the valley shall pick it out and the young eagle shall eat it. So there you go. So if you don't repent, eventually you're going to be taken by these different plagues of judgment. And one of those could very well be you being attacked by these birds. In the time of um, Jacob's trouble. The point is in this lesson. This is to fear the Lord. And to keep his commandments. And to depart from evil. Let me read this again. Um, uh, as it reads. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. There you go. So with that I'm closing. And I say Shalom.